I know you don't like me, he said. It's not that. Look, Jerry, I'm trying to raise that boy on my own. No help from nobody. I, I can't watch him all the time. I don't mean no harm to your son. You don't, you don't mean none, no. Listen, I don't have anything against you personally. I don't. Look, Jerry, in a, in a different world, who knows, right? We could have been friends even. It's just that... I'm pleased to hear you say that, ma'am. The way you've been acting, I'd have thought only one of us is people. I never meant that. Never meant it, he said. And just then, they both saw it, like a long streak starting at the top of the sky, drifting down but fast, lighting up the sky like lightning, a ball of fire with a tail. Holy cow, she said, you see that? What was that? Was that a comet? Meteor, maybe. I don't know. When I was a kid, we used to call that a falling star. I used to think if you saw one, you'd get your wish. You know, like, uh, like all your dreams had come true. She turned back to look at him, all softness in her face. Maybe it had never occurred to her that, you know, bums used to be kids or wanted their dreams to come true like everybody. She said, don't you hate moments like this? What moments is those, ma'am? And you get the feeling like we're all just the same? No, ma'am. I like them. Well, good luck, ma'am. What? I get my first paycheck today. I'm going to go get a cheap room, be out of your hair. Your boy won't be sorry he made the effort. I don't think you will either. I'll just do what I'm supposed to do. Pass it along, you know. Will you explain to me about that, she said? How the paying forward thing goes? Oh, he didn't tell you? I, I haven't exactly asked. An excerpt from Those Who Knew Trevor Speak. So I explained paying forward to her. I got me a stick, sketched it out in the dirt, in the dark. We both had to uh, squint to see. It was cold, but she had a choice. You know, she could have been home in a warm house, and, and that made a difference. I don't know. I drew, I drew those three circles and explained them just like the kid explained them to me. I said, see this one? That's me. And these other two, I don't know. There's two other somebodies, I guess, that he's going to help. See, the trick is it's something big. It's a, it's a, it's a big Big help, like you wouldn't do for just anybody, maybe your mother, your sister, but nobody else, right? He does that for me. And then I got to do it for three others. Other two, they got to do it for three others. And those nine others, they got to do it for three others uh, each. That makes uh, uh, 27. I mean, I ain't so good with math, but you know, the kid, he, uh, he worked it out. It gets real big, real fast. Like, you can't believe how fast. Up in, the, up in the thousands in no time. So I'm on my knees drawing circles in the dirt, counting by threes, running out of dirt. You can't believe how fast. And, and we're looking at these circles, you know, thinking this whole thing would be great, except, except it won't be because, well, we all know it won't, right? I mean, because people, they're, they're no good. They won't really pay it forward. They'll take your help, but that's all. And then the sky lit up again. A second big comet. I never seen two all one night. It was kind of spooky. You know, it's a big world out there. It's, it's bigger than we think. And we talked for a while. We talked like regular people. And after a while, she went home. But after that, you know, the, the night was different. Even when I was sleeping outside, it was, it was different, you know, like not so... Not so cold, you know, or something. <laughs>